There are certain Americans, dead or alive, who are regarded as national treasures. John Wayne, Katherine Hepburn, Louis Armstrong, Walter Cronkite, Joe Louis, Babe Ruth, and of course, Alfred E. Newman. This fictional face that launched 35 years of Mad Magazine. You might have thought that with all the electronic diversions available to kids today, something like Mad would be, if not already dead, then certainly dying. That was 1987. This week, we learn that Mad Magazine will cease publishing new material after its fall issue is released. Launched by William Gaines in 1952 as a comic book, Mad soon became a satirical magazine, never fearing to take on the establishment, whether it was politicians, pop culture, advertising, or the minutia of daily life. We pride ourselves in the fact that we have no philosophy. We have no philosophy, we have no politics, we don't take sides. We have no morals, uh, we have no scruples. <laughs> we have no taste, we have no intelligence. With its mascot, Alfred E. Newman leading the way and recurring features like Spy vs. Spy, MAD hit its peak in the 1970s with more than 2 million subscribers and even more in newsstand sales. But like many other magazines, MAD's subscribers dwindled in the 21st century. In 2017, MAD moved from its home office in New York City to Los Angeles, where it relaunched with a new issue number one. But once issue number 10 is released, MAD will only publish archival material, and new issues will only be sold in comic book shops and through subscriptions. Excuse me, is this MAD magazine? No, it's Mademoiselle. We're buying our sign on the installment plan. After 67 years and more than 550 issues, MAD's influence is undeniable. Hey, do you see the parody of The Daily Show in this month's Mad Magazine? No, I didn't see that. Tore you a new one, buddy. Among those crediting Mad with inspiring them, Jerry Seinfeld, Howard Stern, rocker Patti Smith, political activist Tom Hayden, movie critic Roger Ebert, hey, like a surgeon. and Weird Al Yankovic, who guest edited an issue of Mad in 2015. He wrote on Twitter, Mad is pretty much the reason I turned out weird. <laughs> well, the line from Gaines, right? I so like, yeah. We have, we, have, we have no philosophy. We also have no morals, no scruples. That's yeah, why it was so good. <laughs> but the, the number of people it's inspired is, is pretty remarkable. Yeah, I remember it well. Yeah. I remember my dad telling me he was a big fan. Yeah.